This is the iPad first generation LCD digitizer replacement. This is the 3G model and there are a few differences between the 3G and Wi-Fi version. John will point those out while we're going through the repair process. Uh, before starting the repair, you want to make sure your iPad is powered off. And without further ado, John, take us through this repair. Alrighty. What we'll do first is we'll take two flat picks. The first one we will apply between the fine line between the back housing and the LCD and it's just a little rubber seal that goes around the to separate the two, the digitizer from the back housing then we'll take the next one and we'll just move right up the bot, back of the uh, bottom of the iPad and just place that there once we do that then we'll just take and just we'll just apply a little bit of pressure while bending down towards the bottom of it to get that to pop up and you'll notice after it, when you hear that sound pop it, it separates from the back housing really simple there's there's some clips here that are just holding it in place once we get that separated then we can just take ourselves and we can just go right through the bottom of the iPad just just wedging right yeah you're just taking and just wedging up on between the housing and that that uh, that little rubber seal that's protecting the digitizer from the housing and you can just work yourself all the way around and there are metal clips on these and you'll hear them as you're working yourself around there as they uh, separate from the housing and once you get up so far it, it'll just lift up by itself and you'll notice that the top is starting to separate from the from the uh, gasket as well then just take and turn it just barely and it'll just it'll just start to release turn it oh see he took the uh, the bottom right corner and kind of twisted it out right and once it once it twists out you'll notice that it that it twists and just will start to fold up then after you've opened the device up about you know at a about a 45 degree angle you'll notice that there is three wires that you can see here this is your antenna cable that is the difference between the Wi-Fi and the um, and the uh, 3G model. Th that is the only difference between the two. And you'll have to take and just unplug that antenna like so. And it just unplugs like just any antenna. So you don't need to mess with that white cable in there. Right. Just the black no, one. No, just the black one. The black one's the only one that you have to mess with. Okay. Then what we can do is we can take, and you'll notice there's a black tab over here that's connecting the LCD to the circuit board. If you want to just take in there and just pull that black tab up, um, it, it goes from left to right. If you just take and just pull it up, it'll just lift straight up in the air, and it, it's real, real easy to, to pull up, like so. Then all you have to do is take and unplug the, the LCD. You can use your normal angle. Then what you can do is take, and there is two plug-ins here for the digitizer. And what we'll need to do is there's a little hinge door. It's a black door on both both of the plug-ins. And what we'll want to do is just take and lift up on those black doors. And they open just like a little door, and you'll hear it open. Just like so. Little levers. Yeah. And then just like so. Then we can take and we can unplug that digitizer just like that. Just pull straight out to the side. Straight. And then up here at the top, there is a little plug-in for the antenna, and you'll just need to unplug that. And if you wanted to lift it up just like that, you'll see the flex connector that goes down to it. And it's just a little plug-in that you can just plug it straight into to the device. And that's basically taking the, the screen off. What we do just to apply back is that when you receive your, your device or the screen, it's going to come in just like this. And so what you'll do is just start plugging the, the device or the uh, LCD and digitizer back into it if it's the non 3G model. And if it does, then you'll have the antenna with it. So what you would do is just take, plug the first cable back in, the antenna uh, cable up at the top. Then you'll want to make sure that you start to plug the digitizer in, and it slides in really simple. It's, you just take and line the two things up, the uh, flex cable up with the two holes, and just slide it right in, and it, it'll, it won't go in unless you're correctly in. that. 
and you'll notice there's a white line on the the flex that you'll need to line up with the back of the uh, two connectors on the, the uh, circuit board and then what you'll do is take and just shut those little clasps that hold the flex into place you definitely want to be careful with uh, those little levers too because they can be fragile and you could break them if you're using you know a fine tip tool so just uh, evenly distribute you know the pressure to close those flaps down those levers down that's a good point next you'll take the antenna and just plug it back in you just need to line it up with the antenna port be patient it's a, just a little cable and it damage something if you're not you know being careful with it you need you need me to come out there and help you uh no i'll get it in just a second Alrighty. Alrighty, you got now, it, guys. Now that we got it plugged in, we can take and plug in the LCD. And we'll just want to make sure that that door is out of our way, so we'll just push it back towards the flex connector. And then just, it, it slides just straight into the circuit board. Like so. Then we'll just take and just close that, close that door. I like that. Alrighty, now we can just take and start to close the device. Now what we'll want to do is we'll want to start on the volume key side and just clo close that into the, bot uh, the frame itself. And what we'll do is we'll just evenly line it up and make sure that it's, that it's smooth with the back housing. Then we'll just set that left side down and just start working our way around the bottom of the device like so and it'll just clip right into place and we'll just work our way all the way around You're just applying a little bit of pressure make sure it's all smooth then we'll take and power the device on make sure it works and that is the iPad screen replacement in less than 10 minutes thanks for tuning in